everyone welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning so today we are going to talk about this lori harvey situation y'all apparently the good sis has lost a whole bunch of weight and everybody is upset at her for how she says she got there i'm gonna talk about some things that might trigger y'all trigger warning so be advised if you agree comment down below and let me know if you disagree comment that as well because we don't all have to agree about this thing but i think there are some things that need to be said so this is the picture of lori harvey um in the black dress and that's her in a bathing suit on the other side now the bathing suit pick i i have no issue with the black dress pick i think there are a few things that could be said but before we get into this video and my opinion let's watch her original post that got all the girls upset okay so i just left my pilates class and i see all the girls are signing up for pilates now love that for you guys um but everybody's been asking like what it is i specifically did to get my body to this point so when mike and i got together i gained like 15 pounds of relationship weight and it was horrible none of my clothes fit it was just not okay so i've been consistently doing pilates for like the last year i've done it for a few years but i've been really consistent the last year and when i was trying to drop weight i was working out like five six times a week and i would even do like for the first month and a half i think i did two a days so what i would do was i was in a calorie deficit i think i maybe was consuming like 1200 calories in a day max and i wasn't on like a specific eating regimen i just was trying to do like meat and veggies and like minimal carbs and then i had this sprint interval circuit that i would do so i would do pilates in the morning and then i would leave there and i would sometimes directly go to the gym and hop on the treadmill for 30 minutes and it's a specific sprint interval workout i did so if you guys want that i'll give it to you later so then i would do that or i also like to do like a hike or i would go run the stairs just some type of cardio that's how you drop because pilates alone is not going to make you lose weight it's just going to give you long lean muscles so yeah that's how i did it y'all see the way she smiled at the end of that video sis was smiling like she really ate with that message like she gave the girls what they were looking for she was proud of herself and before she could even hit the upload button these hoes done turned on her the, they flipped on her now they're making fun of her calling her names just criticizing and i really want to break down what she said but before we go there let's look at this old picture of lori now in this picture you can see lori was a fat kid i looked at a couple of pictures a bunch of pictures and she was always fluffy she was never a skinny child so i think as she came into her womanly body and she got older she, some of the weight naturally just drops off you know as she got her shape she got her hips she whatever puberty hits and she got a little older she became more curvy more shapely and lost a lot of her, her baby fat now because she was a fat kid and then she started to lose weight in her 20s early 20s teens and early 20s she noticed okay a little five pounds 10 pounds 20 pounds it hits different when you used to be a fat child and then you lost the weight and then you start putting on weight you kind of go into panic mode and i bet you that's what happened with her just like if you were uh if you were super skinny and then you start to put on weight if you've been fat your whole life you may not really five ten pounds is not gonna make a difference to you but to somebody who was fat lost the weight and doesn't want to be fat again you see that weight come on and it's like oh hey wait a minute i need to get up i need to do something and i'm not mad at her for that because if you've actually uh if you're on my instagram or you caught my stories or my latest post you will see i definitely i have put on a couple pounds i was like wait a minute i gotta get my fat ass up and get this together because this is not me this is i don't feel my best in this and even though it was only what she said i think 15 20 pounds that may not be a lot to some people, but that is a lot to you if all of your clothes are tailored to a certain size and now you can't fit anything. So the girl went hard. And do I think she went overboard? For her, no. For me, absolutely. I would not want to be that skinny. So in the very beginning, I showed this picture and I, ha I wanted to do the side by side because here's the thing when they get dressed up for these award shows and stuff in the in the picture when I first saw this with the black dress I was like oh something's wrong maybe she's sick you know I'm not gonna talk about her because y'all see what happens to that one guy that y'all did dirty with the Wakanda and come to find out the poor man had cancer and he passed away but everybody was talking about his weight so I'm like well maybe she's going through something her face looks way too skinny she looks emaciated her arms everything just looks a little bit too small for me but she's happy with it 
it's so cool. Now, listening to her talk in the car, this is what I know. Pretty much, sis is following a keto diet. And there's nothing wrong with that because keto will get you where you're supposed to be, especially if you do it the right way. You have a lot of uneducated people talking about keto is bad. It's it's not if you know what you're doing and you're doing it the right way. But the reason I say that and looking at that picture, first of all, lighting plays a big part of it. Makeup plays a big part in it. So whatever filters they have can maybe um, accentuate her facial features and make her look a little bit more emaciated than she is. But the thing with keto when you cut out carbs, and, and, and I'm not saying cut out 100% because if you uh, caught my other video, I told y'all I follow keto, but because I work out the way I do and because I lift heavy, I can easily get away with 70 to 100 carbs in a day. So keto doesn't mean zero carbs. What it means is you can't have an excess amount of carbs in order. So pretty much that's what she's doing. She says she sticks to the meat and the vegetables, stuff like that. So And she kind of reduces the carbs. So a low carb diet slash keto, I don't know if she's worried about being in ketosis or if it's just low carb, but either way. What that does to you, it makes you look a little bit more lean. So if you've ever seen a bodybuilder or tracked a bodybuilder's journey, before they go to their competitions, they cut out the carbs, they cut out the salt because the salt will hold in the water. Water retention makes you bloated. Bloated makes you, it makes you a little bit more puffy. So it looks to me like she's, she's staying away from the carbs and the salt. And what that does is it makes you appear a little bit more lean. Now, if she just went a whole week and ate more carbs, she would be a little softer. Her, her, she wouldn't be so defined. Her, her muscular, you know, her face and everything would fill out just a little. She wouldn't put on any weight, but she wouldn't look like she is getting ready for a bodybuilding competition. So they do that on purpose when they're bodybuilding because you want to you want to show off all the muscles. You want to show everything. So like I said, they will cut out the salt, cut out the the carbs because that'll help suck in the skin and reduce that water retention, and reduce the bloat. That's what I see in that picture more so than anything. She is very small, but if that's the look that she's going for, cool. I tend to believe that she looked better before, but I, it's not my body, so it's not for me to call. But I see a lot of people tripping because this girl said a 1,200 calorie diet. Here is the thing. There are days that I eat 1,400, 1,500 calories. There are days that I only eat like eight or nine. I eat when I'm hungry. So the fact that she's on a 1,200 calorie diet, and she didn't say forever. She said when she was really trying to cut. When she was trying to cut, she cut. That's not going to do anything to you. And this is my question for the people who are tripping about the 1200 calorie diet thing. How many calories do you think she's supposed to have? Do you really understand how many calories are in your food? Because if you're so concerned about her having a 1200 calorie diet, okay, let's say she adds an extra yogurt and that's 300 calories. Now she's at 1500 calories. Would that make y'all feel better? Let's say she adds a yogurt and she adds, uh, I don't know, some guacamole. Do you realize those numbers can rack up really fast? So the fact that she's at 1,200 calories, she's a smaller girl. She probably couldn't be at 2,000, 2,500 calories for a day and lose the weight. As a matter of fact, it would make her gain because she did not say she's lifting heavy because she's probably not. She didn't say that she's going for, you know, bodybuilder status. She's trying to lose weight and she's all she said is she's doing 30 minutes of cardio a day. That's nothing. But if you do it right, 30 can be very effective. So she has a specific sprint schedule that she sticks to, regimen that she's following. And because y'all sat up here and dogged this girl the way y'all did, she probably isn't even going to share it with us now. Because I want to see her sprint schedule because I have been like doing things on, a, on the treadmill as well. And you have to do what works for your body. So 30 minutes of cardio plus her Pilates plus eating right got her to where she's trying to go. I have no issues with what she's doing. And she says she was doing two a days. I actually do two a days three times a week on average, but I'm also in a phase where I'm trying to lose weight. So I get what she's saying and I don't really see the problem. And then you have people like, oh, I'm just never going to look like Lori because I can't follow her schedule. First of all, if you weigh 220 pounds and you are trying to restrict yourself to 1200 calories a day, like Lori, you're doing it. You got the game all messed up from the gate. 
that's not the goal. The goal is to restrict. So if you really want to lose weight, what you need to do is you need to write down what you're eating and track yourself for about a week straight and then see where your issues are, see where your problems are, uh, track your intake and get with somebody, a doctor, a professional and ask them, okay, this says that I'm eating 3000 calories a day. I really want to lose some weight. Where should I be? Without any assistance, you should be able to look at your food diary and say, okay, I really didn't need that whole dish of cheesecake. Maybe I could have just had like a slice or two and I could have left the rest. Or, you know, I ordered a pizza. I didn't have to eat three pieces plus breadsticks. Maybe I could have had like one and a half slice of pizza, one breadstick and called it a day. So you can cut on your own without any assistance. But to look at her, her diet probably was not that crazy because she wasn't that big to begin with right and I say that big I think she wasn't big at all but for her she was over where she wanted to be where she was comfortable so her cut would require her to cut you know she would have had to be at more of a deficit than somebody who was 200 pounds because she was never 200 pounds so 1200 calories may have worked perfect for her for her maybe 16 or 1800 will work perfect for you now me personally if I was eating 2000 calories a day I would be in trouble I'm going to gain weight I would be 200 pounds before I could blink because that is too many calories for me. Now I'm short because I'm short. It's going to it's going to require a different setup than somebody who is taller than me because I have more than average muscle mass. I'm going to have to do things that not only maintain the muscle I have, but also grow my muscles in certain areas. So because of that, my dietary my dietary requirements are going to be a little bit different than somebody who is more fat. If you have if you carry way more body fat on you, the way you lose weight is going to be a little bit different than somebody who carries more muscle tone. It looked to me like Lori wanted to reduce her body fat, and that's what she did. So in reducing her body fat, she had to go hard and kind of, in a sense, quote unquote, jolt her system. And that's what got her off to the to the start that she was off. That's why she was doing two a days and she was restricting when it came to her diet. Now, she didn't have to do five and six hours a day of cardio. Now, if she would have told me I'm going to the gym four times a day, I do an hour cardio each time I would have been like okay it's excessive what she's doing is a little bit dangerous because she's not even allowing her body she's overworking her body and then not even allowing it to recover that's not what she said she the girl's doing 30 minutes of cardio why how is that ever a problem she's going to Pilates how is that ever a problem and let's be real She's in a new relationship with the man that looks like Michael B. Jordan. Now, I'm going to be honest. He's not my cup of tea. I'm not attracted to him. I'm not interested in him at all. But at the end of the day, he is known as a sex symbol. A lot of women are into him. And let's look at his body. Anyone would be a fool to say that his body isn't where it is. His body is on point. So because she's with a man who is so athletic and who is physically fit the way he is, it's only natural that if she is hanging out with him and spending a lot of time with him, that she's going to adapt to his lifestyle and adopt some of his ways. So if her man is always working out and she doesn't mind working out, she may start working out with him. So naturally, she's going to become a little bit more fit than hanging out with some old fat ass Diddy. You know, or somebody like Future. Future's not working out. Diddy's not working out. They're old. Michael B. Jordan is old as well, but his body shows that he puts in the work. So I'm not mad at her for doing what she did and getting with her man, but I just don't understand what all of the uproar is about. And the fact that the girl put on 10, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever it was, and she said, oh, wait, let me let me fix this right now. I commend her because a lot of people will gain the 60 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, then want to say, okay, now I need to fix it. I'm not going to say that it's too late at that point to fix it. But what I will say is now you're going to have to really put in some work because it is very easy to, to put the weight on. It is very hard to get that weight off. It is much easier to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds than it is to lose 150 pounds. And also, your body's going to look different if you have a whole bunch of weight to lose and you need a lot of time to do it versus her who caught it early and got that weight off. So I, I just I, feel, I don't understand why people are so against her and for the record I think if that's what she wants to do I'm here for it and I don't really see what's so unhealthy I feel like Lori did exactly what needed to be done for her this girl has a lot of money I'm sure she's talked to people she's talked to doctors she's got trainers she didn't just come up with this on her own 
So obviously somebody told her that what she was choosing to do was the right thing or somebody told her this is what she needs to do. So I'm not mad about it. I'm just going to be real with y'all. Like I already said, I would not go that low in weight, but that's Lori's choice. But I so much more tip my hat off to her than the girls who were out here getting the BBLs and all this liposuction, but they still got back fat rolls. They, they You look at their legs, there's no definition. They got dimples, lumps, bumps, bruises, rolls, and everything else. But they do all of these photos and the photos are retouched. But then when you catch an untouched version of what they have going on, there's nothing to write home about. There's nothing. It looks weird how you have somebody who has fat everywhere. Everywhere on her body, the body fat percentage is way too high. There's no muscle tone, no definition. But they have these little bitty stomachs. They have these square behinds or weird shaped hips. A girl who has no hips, now all of a sudden they jut out. Like, it, this is crazy. People don't call, call you know, a flag on that play. But then you have Lori who actually put in the work to get the number down, to get off them little quick, little 15, 20 pounds that she wanted to get off. And everyone is saying that this is unhealthy. I think that priorities need to be reevaluated because I'm just not seeing it. Y'all thumbs this video up and let me know what y'all think down below.